All right, watch this GC. I may buy this GC if it opens right about there. Yeah, I bought the GC. Plus five. All right. So here's a channel. Break out of the channel. Our mom, our mo meter goes from these black candles to the gray candles to lighter color gray. Slams into the support. There's a major line of support. At the same time, it gets oversold which is this teal colored outline. We have a speed tick, which suggests that this bar was manipulated. Now, if you, you could probably even tell that just by looking at it. Look at the size of this bar relative to some of these previous bars. Big bar, and then we get this pullback alert saying that the sellers are... Uh, getting tired but the buyers have been just sitting down at this support level waiting and as soon as the sellers sell into these buyers there's a whole lot of activity going on a lot of churning activity we get people saying do you watch volume how come i don't see any volume indicators on your charts yes we watch volume very much so but we only watch certain kinds of volume only the type of volume that makes a difference when we can uh, look at it and tell if price is going to be changing directions. For example, we're looking for sellers to become exhausted. So we're looking at a weakness and a downtrend, which is what we have right here. So we're watching for sellers to become exhausted and buyers to jump in at that point. Okay. And that's exactly what we got. Now, what happens after this bar or this bar? We don't care. We're looking for an immediate reaction. If you think of a bouncing ball, you know, you just hold a ball up off the floor and let go. And you get that initial immediate bounce. That's what we know is likely to happen. Right? The bounce is, gonna, is likely going to just be a, a straight up bounce pretty much back in the direction that it came from. But on the second bounce, third bounce, fourth bounce, we don't really know where that ball's gonna go. We have no idea. That was a, just a straight up speed tick trade, William. 